We got beer here. We got beer here. We got beer here. Been bottling. Got beer over here. Oh, it's a hot homebrew wet day. Well, as you can see from the intro, I've been bottling again. Last week's and this week's. This is the vice beer that I've done today, which is a bit overdue, only by two days, but lets the yeast clean up the beer. <coughs> that was got SARS and Halatawa as the hop additions. Fairly traditional German Czech hops for German beer. But these ones, they were, for all the sense purposes, the third runoff from the mash tun. So the start gravity was 10.24. If you've watched the video, I've done a boil separate. <coughs> and I only used my own hops which I think was a four and a six gram addition. It was only about nine and a half litres. Decanted that after the boil for an hour in the two demijohns. Used the same yeast cropped from my American wheat beer. And the waste beer used the same yeast to ferment both of the beers. This is what I've got plus two little Belgian bottles which are handy just to do little sample tests and uh, she fermented all the way down to 1000 so it's come out 3.15 for the wee bear and uh, 5.78 for the vice beer so the time that's bottled and fermented that's going to be a 6% <coughs> but obviously back to this one the remnants in my trial jar is my hop of unknown origin. Well, we know where the origin was, it was the ass I was working at, and there's no grown in my garden. So I've been back to the house and there's no more left. I have been destroyed by the building works and fencing and such like. So unfortunately there's nothing there apart from the male plant that survived. <coughs> so I don't know whether to bring him back here so that obviously I can propagate further hot plants and then eliminate him at a later stage um, but obviously it depends on what this tastes like now I did have a sniff in the demijohn and there was sort of definitely a vegetable smell um, but obviously that was just sniffing the drained remnants on the yeast in the, the trial jar there's a little bit more fragrant smell, I still can't nail it down um, Hopefully the smash beers will help me with that. More of that, more of those in a minute. But it's not an unpleasant smell. It's definitely hoppy, not very, very strong though. Um, and obviously it's only in here. But, uh, there is a faint smell. Can't quite say, you know, it's a Goldings or something like that. It's not a strong one. Um, and from the taste, it's more of a bittering hop than it is a flavour hop. Um, at the minute anyway, we'll see what it comes out like when it's carved up in the bottles, but um, tastes a little bit it's a little bit of back so not overly bitter. It's not um, you know, high alpha acids, it's not sort of, I mean, I wouldn't have thought in double figures. Difficult to tell unless you had it tested, but um, obviously there's only two kilos of it anyway, but it's not unpleasant. <coughs> obviously it'll mellow out a little bit, we'll try it in the bottles at a later stage, <coughs> but at least I know they're usable. Um, and I did send a couple of small packs, I think, or large pack, I can't remember. I sent some down to Zippy anyway, so we know it won't destroy a beer, Zippy, so feel free to use them and uh, give me your thoughts. Definitely a bitter in hop, not a, not a, not an aroma. There is a slight, I mean, you'll notice there is a smell when you open the pack, but uh, they all sort of pretty much smell the same. 
Right. Well, that's me beers. Obviously, last week's was quite a long, a long session if you watched it, but that was more to do with electric versus gas for someone to ask the question. So I answered it. <laughs> Even that's carved. <laughs> That's just a trial jar, so that wasn't a Debbie John. Yeah, so smash off. <clears throat> As you know, plenty of the guys are well into them. Um, I've checked my Facebook status today, and looks like Tony Yates has got his in Norway. So I guess as soon as they're settled out, he'll start banging out a few reviews. I've started videoing mine. I haven't uploaded any yet, and I'm probably going to do them all before I upload. Um, because obviously the camera that I use is the only one I've got and the screen is going uh, which obviously some of the controls are on the little window that you move out so I don't want to be filming one every night get to day three or whatever and then my camera's shot and I can't continue so assuming I can get this up <laughs> I've got two two under my belt, so I'll probably do a third one tonight. Um, so yeah, I will do a cumulative video, edit them and upload them, and then release one per day when I've got them all done. Fingers crossed that the camera will last long enough <coughs> for me to do them. I'll keep looking on eBay for uh, another one, pretty much the same, because I've only just bought a new friggin' battery for this one. This is a, a JVC MG26, I think this is an MG21, which look pretty much the same spec. But they're either ending during the day when I'm not here or what. You know how it is. Anyway, I'm going to have another sip. Yes. And on the bare front news, you may have been aware that for some strange reason, that chap Sam, who runs some brewery over in America, what's it called? Dogfish Head? Yeah, it's that bloke. He's done a collaborative beer with Wells and Young. Or Youngs. Why he chose them, I do not know. But anyway, not a good decision in my book. But I've bought the beer to try. Um, I'm not doing it on camera, right? <clears throat> I want to keep this one a little bit shorter because I know there'll be the smash offs that people want to watch. Extra videos, um, blah blah blah. So I've got that done. I've got to clear up now anyway and clean the damage on. I still haven't done the winers that I was going to do. <sighs> Not enough time to brew. But we are in May, June. July is my birthday. So I've decided to treat myself a little bit early. And I've bought some Belgian beers. Nothing outstanding there, you say? I mean, I work in a beer shop that sells the biggest range of Belgian beers in the UK anyway. But there are some we don't do. I think we only stock 300 of the 1400 Belgian beers that are commonly available. So I've bought some from Belgium to come over. Some triples that aren't sold in the UK and some Trappist beer, uh, West, Westy, well, what is it, you know, not the West Mal, the other one, you know, the one everyone wants. Oh, the West Veltren. Uh, two of those. This year's brew, so I'm gonna keep one and maybe have it for my birthday. And then I'm gonna put away an age. I could have bought even older ones, but um, obviously the sky's the limit. <coughs> and there's another Trappist Brewery, West Mount Trappist Brewery. Obviously, most of you will be familiar with their little bottle, which looks the same as the Westy bottles with the uh, moulded collar around, <coughs> around the top all part of the glass. They do a triple and a double, but they also do what you're, I suppose you'd call the house beer. The beer that the monks drink and the guests drink. The work a day, everyday beer. 
which is called West Mal Extra, which isn't available for sale. But I've got one of them coming as well. Anyway, I will do reviews of those when I get them and I'm ready to drink them, as they're not ones that are commonly available. But that's about it for me. I've got 60, 70 odd bottles of uh, wheat beer to get through in a few weeks' time. So I'll be merry chappy. And I've got something to dispose of. The old chocolate stout, past its best now. And the winter ale. <coughs> I think I'm going to be tipping that. They're taking up room. And if I ain't drinking them, there's no point in not being there. Anyway. I've got to clear all this crap up and I don't know what I've done with the remote. There it is. That's it. So I've got the bear tipping experience to do. And uh, bottle conditioning. I've got to wait three weeks, four weeks before I can have another go at my tasty brews. But anyway, catch you later.